right, three, two, woohoo! Hey there, it's Abiola Abrams, and I'm broadcasting from sacredbombshell.com and youtube.com slash planet Abiola. Today we are a tiny bit off topic, but not way off topic, because as you know, I am the author of the Sacred Bombshell Handbook of Self-Love and an empowerment coach, the midwife for your inspired life. I help big vision women to create their big vision lives. So today I'm answering a question that someone posted over at facebook.com slash Abiola TV, where the TV stands for transformation and victory. And she wanted to know her, her, I should have had her email in front of me, but it was something like, dear Abiola, I'm at the wits at my wits end with my hair. Oh no, I don't know what to do about it anymore. And I'm wanting to give up on my natural hair. What is your natural hair journey? A sister needs some inspiration. Don't give up on your hair, first of all. I totally understand. Don't give up on your hair. My, well, let me show you first. My hair actually is in great condition today. I'm having a good hair day, and so I'm excited to share with you um, my hair regimen and maybe even a couple of quick styling moments. All right. So my natural hair journey very quickly uh, a couple of years ago was actually, I think, as you're watching this, it was two and a half years old, ago. So my hair is two and a half years old, so it's a toddler. <laughs> two and a half years ago, I cut off all my hair uh, and grew it in, uh, regrew it in natural. It was already natural but the reason why I did a big chop is because I had incredible heat damage that the texture of hair that I have maybe like the texture of hair that you have flat ironing my hair killed it my hair was limp and dead and I was wearing weaves and wigs and I would basically just flat iron straighten my hair make it as hot make it the thing as hot as I could and I didn't care if my hair broke off or fell off or fell out or did whatever because I was going to cover it with a weave or wig anyway, so it didn't bother me. But a couple of years ago, two and a half years ago, I decided that I wanted to nurture and take care of all of the parts of my body. I wanted to put more self-care and more thought into what I ate, what I put on my skin, how I treated myself. I wanted to treat myself better and walk my talk as somebody who was claiming to love, honor, and cherish herself. And so I cut off all my hair. <laughs> I cut off all my hair and I started again from scratch. And actually kind of, you know, I don't want to take any credit for, you know, being, having any kind of great insight to have already had natural hair. It's not that I was trying to be you know, that I was so insightful. It's just that I'm allergic to relaxers. And I realized that when I was a teen, I get really bad at eczema. And so I had eczema all over my scalp and that sort of thing. Not fun. And I was told that I, one of the many things that I'm allergic to is relaxers, whether that was the lie or no lie, or I, I don't know. But, you know, so from that point, I just did weaves and wigs and uh, hot curler, straightening all of that. <laughs> so that is the story of my hair. Uh, another very important milestone for me was that also I, for the past two years, I haven't used any kind of heat on my hair. Uh, for the first year in of this growing this crop of hair that I wasn't using any combs or brushes either. I was just detangling with my fingers, but that stopped after a year. <laughs> um, and now I do use a comb and a brush, which I will share with you in a little bit. But another, yeah, so I had very early in when I did a big chop and was growing my hair back in, I thought it'd be cute to wear, to, to see how it looks straight and do a little, you know, mini bob sort of thing. And so I flat ironed my hair and the hair damage was extensive. I have a post actually that is at sacredbombshell.com. If you, well, I'll just put the link below, but it shows all of like 15 different short hair, natural hairstyles that may be encouraging and inspiring for you right now. 
And one of the things that it shows is my little mini bob and also the fried result of it. So, you know, thankfully, then I ended up actually having to chop, of course, then that hair off as well because it was dead, limp, uh, dying, no good hair. So, all right. So I'm going to share with you the products that I use that maybe will help to make your hair care regimen and your hair life a little bit easier. My hair right now, although it's two and a half years old, I would say that this is more like two, like two years of hair growth. And you know, because we have shrinkage, I'm going to just do a little pull test so you can see. So I would say that this is more two years rather than two and a half years of hair growth. And the reason why I say that is that the past few months or so, I haven't been very as vigilant about my hair care as I like to be, to be honest with you. I have an, a video that I will also link to about neglecting your hair. I haven't been neglecting it recently as bad as I was at one point, but I was just, because work was very hectic and life was very hectic for me and a lot was going on. Uh, and recently I had a family member sick. And so I was literally just doing my favorite quickie hairstyle, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and just not doing anything else. And unfortunately, um, the unfortunate part of my beautiful hair, and this may be the same for you and why you're at your wit's end and why I understand is if I go, I can't just, you know, pull it back in a ponytail and just chill for a few days um, because unfortunately my hair will not entangle and end up a, a mess. So unless I, you know, if I'm going to do that, I have to run coconut oil through it or something like that. I have to prepare it for that before I do it. So, okay. What to show you first? I'm so excited at this. Uh, this is a very intimate question and I very much appreciate how harrowing it can feel if you are used to wigs and weaves or relaxers to suddenly be you know, face with the care of your own hair. So this is all hair products in this bag. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a speed round of that after showing you my quick, fun, go-to hairstyle. Actually, there are two ways that I wear my hair. This is usually not one of them, but it will be because it's, I, I like it. It's big and fluffy and fun. And I think that for the summertime, I will be doing more of this. Um, I usually do a more tame version of this is one, one of my go-to styles which is I put bobby pins in hair, hidden bobby pins to shape my hair. So it's the equivalent of pulling back some of your hair to make it a little bit thinner so it falls a little better. So I do that there and then some uh, more bobby pins here on the side. You could do a faux hawk like this probably. All right, let's see. I'll leave that up to somebody cooler than me. <laughs> or maybe I'll try it and I didn't do this right. Um, usually there are like about 10 bobby pins that I would put. <laughs> and I'm trying to achieve the same thing with only one or two. But yeah, so I put bobby pins, pull it back, and then it the top hair falls a little bit. You can see where it's going. So that is one quick hairstyle that I usually do. And right now my hair last night was twisted, but I wouldn't consider this a twist out because it, it's, it wasn't twisted for stylistic purposes. It was just twisted for maintenance purposes. When In the beginning I did all of these really cute little twists out, twist outs, but it's, it's very time consuming. And so it's only something uh, I would do if I had like a photo shoot or something that I wanted to prepare for. So this is my other go-to hairstyle. Very fast, as you see. You can do a half situation like that or um, the whole thing going around like that. And as you see, I'm just tucking. This is a quick roll and tuck. <laughs> you can do a big Janelle, Janelle Monet font in the front. You can just leave it out and do curls in the front. You can do like a half swoop kind of situation there in the front. And I have a funny story about this hairstyle, actually. I did this the other day 
And my sister and I were both excited about it for different reasons. I was very excited because I had a huge bun and an Afro puff. And that was always my like fantasy hair to be able to like do my own bun. And I had a, I can now have a huge bun. And my sister loved this, like the whole like Janet Jackson kind of situation <laughs> that my hair could do that. So that was fun. All right. So I use the LOC method of hair moisturization. There's another video that I did for a website that I'm going to link to as well down there that you can, where I talk more about hair moisturizing, but I use the LOC method, uh, liquid oil cream. So I start with water, which is the, uh, the best liquid and best way to moisturize your hair. And then I use coconut oil to seal my ends. This is the one that I'm using currently <laughs> with a plastic spoon in it. This is Guyanese Real GT. Uh, Guyanese coconut oil because the Trader Joe's is running low and they don't have the coconut oil there. I use um, Jamaican black castor oil on my scalp, although I haven't as much recently. And here's another version of that that doesn't stink like that one does. This has mango and lime in it. And I also then after doing the liquid oil and olive oil I use as a pre maintenance uh, situation right before I wash as a pre poo and coconut oil it's really good for detangling because washing the hair can be very harrowing on the hair I let me see I'm gonna have to make this into two videos I can tell because I'm I feel like I'm going all over the place and I think that I think that it's a, a very involved conversation about what to do with your hair and the stress of caring for your hair and caring for yourself. I just recently just wanted to, in the winter time, I wanted to get a weave. And I love the way that my hair looks. I love my hair, but I just don't have the time to maintain and care for it. So my ideal situation would be a natural hair weave that looks exactly like my hair, where I don't have to care for it as much. Unfortunately, I realized then that the natural hair care weaves are the same texture of hair, so I then have to care for it the same way I care for my hair. So I'm like, might as well put the time into my hair. Um, so, okay, so here's a quick run through of the products that I use. All right, so I love, love, love Shea Moisture. This is a detangler that I use that they have. I, I'm like, I need to just be their spokesperson already because I love all their product line. This is their scalp stuff. I use that. This is one of their hair moisturizers that I really like. This one is really heavy and can be really, really kind of overpowering for my hair, but that doesn't bother me. If you don't like your hair weighted down, then this one is heavy. Buy the one for fine hair. I like that one as well, and it's not as heavy, although it's it still seems pretty heavy to me. Uh, Carol's Daughter, love their stuff as well. They have great applicators. This is Lisa's Hair Elixir, and I love that it has this nozzle, which is really great for applying to the scalp. This is another Carol's Daughter product it's for to prevent hair breakage. And actually, you're inspiring me. I will make a dedicated hair date with myself uh, maybe once a week or so to uh, make sure, just check on the condition of my hair and get things going again in a healthy way and then this is on jackie's i just bought this just to try it out it is instant detangling therapy anything that says detangling on it i am a sucker for because my hair tangles and this i bought in washington dc at a i think it was at Howard Homecoming at the somebody was selling it out there it's a natural all natural cleansing co-wash which means conditioning wash. In the beginning, I was only doing co-washing, not doing shampoos anymore, but because I use so many products, I do shampoo now. I This is my favorite shampoo on the planet. This is Miss Jessie's Super Slip Sudsy Shampoo. Big love to Miss Jessie's and TT and everyone there. Um, Huh. All right, this is, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this, but I use it. It's uh, it's hairspray. It's Garnier Fructis hairspray. 
I like it. It's not the healthiest thing to put in your hair, but uh, tell that to humid New York City. I It works for me. This is when I use some of their stuff in the summertime when I'm washing my hair more frequently. And I guess if you want to consider their stuff a co-wash and not a shampoo, then in the summertime, I'm not opposed to co-washing because I'm washing my hair more often. In the winter, I wash my hair less because it's dry. Uh, the whole hair process of because I don't use heat on my hair, walking around with my head wet and all of that, I wash my hair less frequently and so I definitely use a shampoo. This is a shampoo that I tested some time back. Don't mind other shampoos, but like I said, this is my favorite. Uh, and actually this one wasn't, this wasn't, this was, this was okay as well. If you're if if you if your hair is not super tangled, that was a really good co-wash as well. This is a really great hairspray that still leaves your hair flexible, flexible hold. And here's another Miss Jackie. So this was a, a shampoo that I bought because Miss Jessie's, as you can see, the container's really small and I have a lot of hair and I literally, every time I wash my hair, can use a whole one of these. So sometimes I buy other shampoos and I will do one wash in this and then follow up with that. I'm just saying. <laughs> and really, you know, you want to clean your scalp. You want to keep a, a, your hair will grow in a clean scalp. Your hair will grow when you are eating well and eating healthy. Treat yourself just like a plant. You know, if you water it and you take care of it and you nurture it, I'm serious, your hair will grow. That my hair right now, like I said, is two and a half years old. And I fully know that in another year that it'll be longer and longer and longer. And I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to grow it way all the way out. And there's no reason why with me taking care of it and eating well and nurturing it, it's not going to grow. So I promise you, your hair may grow slower than the person next to you or in a different texture than the hair next to you. But it is a lie that Afro textured hair does not grow. It's a lie that we've been sold, like a number of other lies, like, you know, keep our hair away from water. Our hair loves water. Your scalp loves water. Your body loves water. You're made of water. All right, that's a, a, a rant about that. Um, let's see, this is a tea, empty tea tree oil container. I like tea tree oil a lot for the scalp. Uh, I like scalp oils. This is oh, another, a different when. W-E-N, when makes co-washes, it doesn't, they don't make uh, shampoo. This is tea tree oil. This is, let me see, I want to overlap. Oh, I also just wanted to share with you in this video, one of my favorite hair accessories. Thais Mills is an artist and artisan who makes really beautiful, hand-painted, they're really, it's art. These beautiful flowers and I just I love to wear them I would wear them every single day if I could here's another one that I had here oh here it is I dropped my beautiful art piece from Thais Flowers and check her out Thais, Thais Flowers T-H-T-H-I-T-H-A-I-S <laughs> Flowers she's on Instagram she is on everywhere Thais Mills is her name, and you can buy these beautiful hand-painted flowers and support support the artist, support her work, and adorn yourself. Make yourself beautiful, feel beautiful in your skin. You are fearlessly and wonderfully made, and so enjoy being you. Ooh, baby your hair, <laughs> and don't give up on any aspect of who you are all right so i'm not gonna drone on in this video any longer except to say the key takeaways that i want you to have from this video are self-care is an important part of self-love whatever that means to you you have a right to have your hair any texture you want whether that's straightened not straightened whatever you want to do to your hair you're an adult, do whatever works for you. Don't assume your hair has to be a certain way or if everybody's jumping on the bandwagon and having now you know, curly hair or having now natural or unnatural or weaves or straight or it is up to you, do you, do you. If it works better for your life not to have your hair like you know this and, and have to do all of this, 
then don't. Don't do it. If it works better for you to braid your hair up or lock it, do whatever works for you. The other takeaway, the lock method, liquid, liquid oil cream, or some people do the LCO method, liquid cream oil. Test both of those. See what works for your hair. Uh, don't sleep with your hair out. Just do a quick, uh, you know, big, chunky, two-strand twist if you're exhausted or, you know, oil it and just then you can pull it all up and, you know, prep it and then go to bed and not have to worry about it. And then the last takeaway I want you to, to just have is that if no one has told you today, I love you. And just namaste, my beautiful darling. The sacred bombshell of Mises adores, accepts, and loves the sacred bombshell in you. Visit me at sacredbombshell.com where you can sign up to receive a free self-love kit. Okay? Bye.